結婚してくれないか。そうやそうや。Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or Patreon depending on where you're watching this video. If it's the YouTube channel then please know that we have completed whole Violet Evergarden series on my Patreon which is linked down below. In the previous episode we have learned the backstory of one of the outer memoir doll girls named Iris. And as always we have also learned a little bit more about Violet's past and the reason behind her name. Turns out it was Major Gilbert that named her Violet. And wanted for her not to be a tool, but recognized as a woman, as a person. He really was a one of a kind mind. He was really special, not only to Violet, but also to us. You can tell what kind of person he was. Gosh, I really want to know what actually happened to him, whether he survived or not. And if he did survive, I really hope for their reunion. Now it's time to watch episode 5. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe to help the channel grow. Thanks. She's actually been trusted to go and serve at the royal palace. Isn't that a bit of a risky move? No offense to Violet. Oh, she's just a child. I almost feel sorry for her. A public love letter. I would not want to be a princess. So why have they sent Violet? That's not nice of you to say, Princess. Wow. Like, I really understand where it's coming from, but... Wow. Wow. <laughs> That's a really embarrassing public confession that the princess had to do. I can't believe Violet wrote something like this. Wow. This is perfect. Oh my god, it's so beautiful! Why are we talking about touch? It's a bit creepy. That 
That is a really, really wise princess. Like, it's not really her speaking, anyways. It's probably not really that man speaking his thoughts either. That's what I mean. They just have to marry for the peace. Just. Don't tell me. That's him. But he's telling you to release all that frustration, right? like a nice person genuinely nice person I was actually worried that it might be not a nice person but she's definitely not a sassy brat she's a hard-working princess that's not true Nobody's perfect. Is there no way to arrange a pre-marriage meeting? Just like Violet. Oh. So that's what he actually wrote himself. No way! But my gosh, why do they have to do it publicly? Like this, so embarrassing. At least it's true. Are the royalty really say things like that? Like whole country is able to read that. Oh, <laughs> so humble. Like, gosh, why do they have to be public? <laughs> <laughs> I 
Wow. A real like princess. <laughs> Again, this is public. Are they really allowed? <laughs> no, girl, you have a fire in you, and I'm sure he's gonna like it. <gasps> Told you he's gonna like it. He wants to know what kind of woman she has become and she's kind of challenging him as well so it's obviously coming <sighs> Aww. I honestly agree that's beautiful Yes, yes. Oh. <laughs> I can't believe how beautiful and special this story is. It's like a dream for a royal princess. I'm sure she's already awake and happy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure she's proud of you now, Princess. Wow, she looks really pretty, and she is really pretty. Who knows, she might be there in the crowd or she will see your photo in a newspaper. But it's amazing how Violet became her friend, a close friend. Usually royals have to attend lots of parties, meet lots of friends. But it seems like Violet was her true friend. Can she really not take her though? Perhaps if she spoke to her parents. But why make Alberta leave her country and the place she knows at her age as well? I mean, it can't be selfish. After all, we don't know what Alberta wants. I'm sure she wants her happiness though. Oh, it's so beautiful. Alberta is like her real mom. I wonder what kind of parents she has though, the real royal parents. It's a shame we haven't been shown them, but that tells you a lot about her family relations. <laughs> so that's how it was and she's finally smiling she finally smiled like from deep within from her heart not by moving her cheeks but actually smiled and that's the progress and also is my understanding correct that she asked her doll friend to speak to prince damien to truly start writing by himself from his own heart 
or end to go to the garden now that is interesting i'm not actually sure what which which at which point did she ask her the favor at the beginning to convince him to write from his heart or i guess it's like an open ending left for us to analyze and ponder around let me know what are your thoughts in the comments below i'm really curious what is your take on this story or perhaps if you read the manga or novel you might actually know a little bit more about it Huh? What the hell? Now that was some rough credits. I was not expecting that, so I'm guessing this is what is going to happen in the next episode. Wow. Like, wow. <laughs> I guess we'll learn the scale of all the things she has done in the past. Interesting. But anyways, absolutely phenomenal episode. Really looking forward to the next one. I hope to see you there. Bye.